about Julie. What do you have for me today? Today we've got Gloria demonstrating for us how to repot an orchid. Gloria works at Hingham Nursery and she's got a passion for orchids and succulents and cacti she collects. So and Gloria's written this really concise, useful pamphlet that we have available at Hingham Nursery on how to look after various different orchids. And today she's going to be repotting a Phalaenopsis. Wow, can't wait Gloria. Okay, to start off with, okay. every two years it's a good thing to repot your orchid. You would take it out of its old container just by pushing it a little bit and pinching a bit. Okay. And then just shaking off all the old bark. Right. Now, very important is to sterilize your secateurs because viruses do spread amongst the orchids. So very good to, you can use things like surgical spirits and a good sharp secateurs. Okay. The next thing to do is always look two nodules up. You can see, normally you'd wait till the stem's completely dry before you do it. But this, in this case we're just going to do it, it's half dry. Two nodules up and then you would cut just above the nodule. Two and nodules up. Okay, two nodules up the nodules. from the bottom. All These right. are the nodules here. So you just cut above the nodule. And it's two up. Okay, two up. Oh, okay. And then you'd look for any bits of dead dead you can cut a few at the bottom when they're long like that okay. just cut them off they're not necessary and a few you see in the front here that are dead right. you cut these off as well okay. just to make sure that new growth will come out later so that's fine right. just a couple and that looks fine good enough for now all right. shake off all the old bark and just like give it a bit of a tickle they say just so that it's all loose and gives the roots a bit of air okay. then next step take a little bit of gravel yes. put it at the bottom of the pot okay. just a little bit then you take this size bark which is a good size for orchids and always wash your bark first because that gets rid of all the dust so it's a good thing to wash your bark okay. then you put half the bark into your pot always take a pot one size bigger than the original pot so this would be about the ideal size pot okay okay then we just put that orchid inside the pot sort of central uh -oh. in the pot with all the roots they will eventually come out again but for the time being we'll just squash mm. them in a bit right. and then take the rest of the bark and just maneuver it in to the orchid roots okay. so they cover the exposed roots so we'll just give them a little bit of a push down yeah just completely get them covered up And then what one will do in the end, just for a while, one would put the orchid gravel, just uh, any gravel, just on top, just to give the plant a little bit of weight because it's loose okay. now, because you have taken it out the pot so the orchids are loose. Right. So you just put a little bit of the gravel stones on the top. You can take them off later if you want, or you can keep them on, that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. And in amongst that, you can take what you call sphagnum moss. You only use a little bit of sphagnum moss because it retains seven times the moisture and you don't want to use it too much and causing your orchids to get rotten if you give it too much because... It, it, so why are we using sphagnum again? When you pour water on it, you are going to, it's going to retain moisture. They need a little bit of moisture, not too much moisture. So we'd only put a little bit of uh, sphagnum moss on the top. Just on top of the, mm. the stones, just also gives it a bit of a nice finish. Mm. It makes so, it look really, really yes. nice, yeah. So that's what we would do, just as I say, a little. Wow. And then, when we've done that, we'll take our old sticks again, make sure that all the okay. nunus and things that were originally <laughs> on are off. All the nunus. All the nunus. <laughs> <laughs> The hojos, the aphids and things like that. Uh, then you okay. put them back where we just cut the nodules off. Okay. There's one and then the other one was 
where did there's the other one so we'll just put them in there and then you can take your wires that you took off and just tie it around again right. like that and this one around here <clears throat> so that gives it once it starts growing again it has got support okay. which it will need otherwise they <clears throat> kind of just lean all over the place so this is like a they grow with in, this yeah. is like a 9 out of 10 here. times what happens is your next orchid will grow out from one of these stalks here uh, so, okay yeah so that's what will happen so it will probably shoot out there it does take about a year after you've repotted okay. and then you'll have phalaenopsis or moth orchid for probably four to four sometimes four five months oh okay and it'll bring you lots of fun and people seem to think it's a difficult thing to do and orchids are very difficult but they aren't they do require a bit of maintenance but they bring you hours of joy joy satisfaction and beauty wonderful love it okay. love it and then what we can do at the end is just give it a little bit of water but make sure when you water it you uh -huh. don't water in the heart of the um, phalaenopsis or moth orchid because okay. if it has too much moisture in there it will rot okay so you'll okay. just go a bit around the sides just a bit around the sides and that's adequate and then you can water in summer at the very hot months i would say water once to twice a week in winter once a week is sufficient wow okay that's and that's awesome. your orchid thank pot, you good every two years to do it thank you and then you can just give it a wipe so it looks pretty yeah it looks beautiful product. how's that for you guys wonderful okay gloria yes you did it today thank you thank you <laughs>